Let's get on to this game versus the Miami Dolphins. King, what you got? What we doing in uh, the prediction? First thing first, uh, Mozart, uh, the running back, you know, we got we got to continue to stop the run. Continue to stop the run. Um, our cornerback, especially if, if, if you know, God, God willing, Slade comes back. Um, we're gonna we're we're we're, go, we're not gonna press, you know. We're gonna play back, you know. Avoid the big plays. I already know how the game plan is gonna go. Um, we gotta watch the middle of the field. Um, I don't know what personnel we're gonna have out there. Honestly, man, you know, we won't know anything until after Wednesday. Um, hopefully we get uh, Jalen Carter back so he could disrupt the middle. <laughs> He could disrupt the middle and, and get uh to a basically out of rhythm with his guys. Um it's all it, like it's a um week to week lead, like uh Trey said. And you know, it's all about the personnel and the matchups, you know, is any given Sunday. So you you never know. At the end of the day, um I'm looking forward to our offense to step up after this hor- 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 horrific game, man. Office has to be better. Um, especially because we're going against not the one the best offense in the league right now. So we got to be able to, you know, keep up, you know, and not have our our defense doing all that because that's a hard task, especially with this this fast offense. And then they talking about putting Claypool at tight end, like it's gonna it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy, man. And if they play like they did, um. Last week, man, it's it's going to be a lot of booze at the link. I'm telling you that now, man. And especially because that's Kelly Green night. Yeah. <laughs> and you you got to show up. You got to show up. So um, I just think we got to go out there and play Eagles football. You know, I want us to see if you're going to beat us, beat us playing Eagles football. I don't want to see us playing that. I don't want to see us playing that way. I want to see us playing how we was playing last year. Um, and yes, you, you know, you can't blame the coaches all, all, all the time. Um, you can blame the personnel because the personnel out there has to execute at the end of the day. Um, they got to do better. And it's good to see that everybody held each other accountable after the loss, but how you, how are you going to respond on the field? How are you going to do it on the field? You know, everybody has to be, um, doing their job, you know, ball, ball security has to be at a high high point at you know I know they they practice that but yeah we got we got we got to basically get back to you know taking care of the football you know um you talking about score prediction man yeah, yeah. this is going to be close but you know I'm always going to root for the home team I'm going to say 31-27 Eagles. Mitty? Uh, score prediction? Um, and preview. Preview the Dolphins as well. Um, they're more of a timing-based offense. They're going to be trying to get at us quick. Um, we're going we to have to play a little bit more of that press coverage defense. Uh, get two out the pocket, get him off the spot. Don't let him operate from inside a clean pocket. Um, run the ball. Um, 28-24 Eagles. Mo? Um, obviously, hopefully we get some um, dogs back. Jalen Carter, Slay, um, Reed. We need we need some dogs on defense. We need some dogs on defense back. We need the linebackers to step up. Um, Jalen, this is a chance for if we wipe the slate clean and forgetting yesterday, forgetting week five, week four, week two, week two, week one, and this is just one week at a time. This is a chance for us to make a statement. 
against a legitimate threat to go through Super Bowl. So we have to come out in this game. Um, on paper, this is our toughest matchup of the season. Um, we thought in our mind we were coming into this game 6-0. Um, and this game was supposed to be our biggest test. So we have to answer the test this week. Um, offense has to make a, make a statement. Jalen has to make a statement. Um, defense has to make a statement. So I feel like we need to get this. Let's see us winning 35 to 24. That's right. All right, so... <clears throat> I've been watching this Miami offense like week to week. And I think it's more of the players than the actual because they kind of run like a college style offense. And like if you're watching it, there's a lot of screens, double screens, reverses. I mean, lining up Tyreek Hill in the backfield. I mean, creating back uh, matchups and shit like that. What's your offensive coordinator supposed to do? I feel like we need to. And if you really want to see Brian Johnson events, we got the dogs to really kind of run an offense like skink like that, where we moving players around and stuff. So they do a good job of moving their playmakers around, getting bad matchups. I mean, and, and exploiting them. The key to this game, like the moral of the story, you got to hit to a tongue of all over. You can't let them sit back there all day. You cannot let the dude sit back there all day because now you got Waddle running, running around the field. You got, um, Tyreek Hill running around the field, Moster coming out the backfield. He's a threat. The dude is like got world class speed. Um, it's going to be a lot of points scored in this game, no matter how you. And I'm not even going to be mad at the defense because this is a high power offense. You got to kind of contain them. Everybody they went up against, not named Josh Allen in the Bills, they really put up 35, 40 points on them, dude. So, I mean, it's a high powered offense. You're going to have to score points this week. We can't have drops stalling out with three. We're going to have to put it in the pine. And we're going to have to take chances. We're going to have to take chances. You get a Devontae Smith or A.J. Brown lined up one-on-one, -on -one, you got to throw that football, bro, and give your, chance, uh, your, your playmaker a chance to play. That's the only way you're going to win this game. We can't keep constantly giving them the football back like we was doing the Jets because the Jets what, wasn't really in a position to hurt us. The, Bill, the Dolphins will be. They will be, though. So, I mean – it's a good thing this game in the link. We're gonna have our home fans there. And I mean, it's going we're gonna have the crowd noise and energy from the uh the link. So I mean, I feel like we can beat this football team, bro. If we our pass rush come into play, you can't be scared to take chances. Tyreek Hill and them gonna beat you on plays. They're gonna beat you on plays. Just be there to rally, tackle, don't let them use their speed to uh their advantage. Um, I'll give I'm I'm saying the Eagles win this game. I'm going to go, oof. I'm going to go 31-28 Eagles. For me, it's 31-27 to 27 Eagles. I need Jalen Hurst in the worst way. A.J. Brown, continue to do what you do, but Smitty, Goddard, Swift, Jalen, y'all got to step up. Jack Driscoll. If you're taking the spot for Lane to be hurt, I need you. Defense, you got to – I'm praying for uh, 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 Slay and, and Carter to play in this game because we got to get our hands on Tua. We got to get our hands on Tua. I said 31 to 27. We win this game. We get back on track. Let's win us a ball game, y'all. Let's win us a ball game. And we got to win this game because after that, after this game, it won't be easy because we got a tough road ahead of us. So we got to win this game. No one lies. 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 No one lies.